In this video, we'll see some more examples of how to solve equations using logarithms. Let's look at this example. 2 to the x equals 10. One thing that we might remember from our earlier studies is that we can rewrite this equation in logarithmic form. If we rearrange the parts of this equation, we can write this as x equals the log base 2 of 10. And that's a perfectly fine answer. That's actually a solution to this equation. But one drawback to this way of expressing our solution is that our calculator doesn't have a log base 2 button. And 10 isn't a nice power of 2, so we really don't know exactly what this number is in terms of a decimal expression for this number. So let's think about solving this equation in a different way. Instead of rewriting this in logarithmic form, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. Even though there are no e's in this equation, because my calculator has a natural log button, it's going to be convenient to use the natural log for this equation. If your calculator has a log base 10 button, that would work just as well here. So just taking the natural log of both sides, natural log of 2 to the x equals natural log of 10. And one advantage of doing this is that because of our log rules, the natural log of 2 to the x, one of our log rules says that that x comes down, and so that gives us x times the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of 10. And now if I want to solve for x, I can divide both sides by the natural log of 2. The natural log of 2 is divided out on the left. And I get x equals the natural log of 10 divided by the natural log of 2. And now that's something that I can plug into my calculator and get a decimal approximation for. So this equation only has one solution, but we have two different ways to write that solution. We could write it as x equals the log base 2 of 10, or we could write it as the natural log of 10 divided by the natural log of 2. Let's do one more. Similar kind of equation, this time we have 5 times 3 to the 2x equals 8. So taking the log of both sides would work again here, but because of the 5 in front of the 3 to the 2x, we're actually going to make our lives a little bit easier if we start off by dividing both sides of this equation by 5. The 5's divide out on the left, and I end up with 3 to the 2x equals 8 fifths. And again, I could rewrite this in terms of log base 3, but since my calculator doesn't have a log base 3 button, instead I'm going to use natural log. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides, I'm going to use my log rule again, so this 2x is going to come down. So we get 2x times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 8 fifths. I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I'm also going to divide both sides by the natural log of 3. And so when we divide out the 2's on the left, and the natural log of 3's on the left, we get x equals natural log of 8 fifths, divided by 2 times the natural log of 3. And that's our answer.